So what do The Beatles, Led Zeppelin, The Grateful Dead, and Pink Floyd all have in common? Well, besides being some of the greatest bands of all time, at one point or another in their music, they all used this exact same chord progression, but in different contexts. A chord progression that I describe as a minor chord progression with a descending root. And like today's video is titled, The Coolest Progression in Rock Music. If you're not sure what this means, today's video I hope will help you. So enjoy. Cool, so this is a cool video. I have it here in my notes as the coolest chord progression in rock. To stand by. This is a chord progression that we've all heard and recently in Zoom lessons has become apparent in a lot of the music I've been looking over with the students. Theoretically wise, it's nothing crazy. You know, if we look at it in a minor context, it's just the root descending chromatically until it gets to the major sixth, right? So an A minor, A, G sharp, G natural, F sharp. And what's cool with these four examples I'll show today is that, yes, they have the same descending A minor, but the context, and in one case, the extension, the colorful notes, all make them sound very different, even though it's the exact same progression. Very much a same word, different font type of scenario. <laughs> So the first progression, or the first example, I should say, is from the Beatles song, Something, released in 1969. Again, context is key. So let's take it from the top, starting with the C major chord. So good, so simple. We're getting to that A minor from this F, this D7, G, the five chord, six minor, minor major seven, minor seven. You can call it like, in this context of something, D9, F, E flat, G, C major. So good and so simple. Very, very cool. So that was 1969. In 1971, we hear that exact same chord progression, but in a drastically different context. In Led Zeppelin IV, in Stairway to Heaven.
same thing. But now our second chord, this minor with the major seven becomes minor major seven add nine. This minor seven, we can call this A minor seven because that's the flat seven, third, fifth, third. Now it goes to the F sharp, D major, descends to the F major seven, turn around. So good. In that context, it's much more, uh, I don't know if mysterious is the right word, because this is a really cool chord. So good. 1973 arrives. And if you're like me, a Grateful Dead person, you hear Mississippi Half Step and realize, again, the same progression, but again, context. Right? Essentially starting from like the sixth chord, that A minor, descending. To home base of C major. In the same song, we hear that same chord progression in the um, solo section. Right, very cool. A couple years later, for our last example, same progression, but in a much more, let's say, epic context. With Pink Floyd's Shine on You Crazy Diamond. to a diminished. So that same descending minor progression, now in G minor, right? So 
So G minor with G, F sharp is the root, F is the root, and then there's our E diminished. To where it goes E flat major, E diminished. So, so cool. Again, this is a stemming from a minor chord with the root descending from the root to the major sixth. And then depends the context. Again, it goes different places. So before we finish today's video, because this progression is so easy, you should be practicing this with triads, right? So you can do that same thing. Right there. Or even here. Like that, you can do it here. You know? So take this minor triad descending from the root to the major sixth and practice your triads with it. All right, strings one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five, and four, five, six. And you'll be able to play this exact same progression all over the fingerboard. Well, all right, guys, that is today's video, the coolest progression in rock. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.